Blu-ray Tales. Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought I'd finish off the trilogy of videos I've been making about my physical media collection from VHS to DVD to Blu-ray. Now as I said in the last video, DVD Tales, I I got into Blu-ray in 2014 when my old TV finally broke and I had to upgrade and became obvious that some DVDs could do with upgrading as well. Now the first Blu-rays that I actually got out were actually birthday presents. Uh, I admit I dropped some hints, you know. <laughs> you know. Um, the first Blu-ray presents I got were basically a couple of old classics and a, a more modern favourite. I got Aliens, Terminator 2 and The Perks of Being a Wallflower on Blu-ray for my birthday in early-ish 2014. And that pretty much kick-started my Blu-ray collection, which has expanded considerably since then. Now, one of the things about Blu-ray collection, one of the things that kind of got me changed the focus, like I said, when I was, when I was collecting DVDs, when I started collecting DVDs in the early 2000s, it was a lot of 90s movies that I was getting. It was a lot of late 90s and movies and even early 2000s. And it was only a, like a few of the old classic 80s movies that I picked up on DVD. Blu-ray kind of changed that. Because when I saw just how great like 80s movies looked on Blu-ray, it kind of rejuvenated my interest in them. And I started picking up movies and picking up movies that I hadn't really seen since VHS days when my brother had the VHSs so I hadn't seen a lot of these There's stuff like Trading Places and Splash and just tons of tons of movies that I hadn't seen since I was a kid in many cases I just they, they, looked, they just looked so fantastic on Blu-ray and on a big 40 inch TV that it just kind of rejuvenated my interest in 80s movies. And I mean, even these days, I'm still finding like new 80s movies that I've never seen before and which look amazing on Blu-ray. You, you know, you've got relatively obscure, low budget kind of early 80s slasher horror movies like Madman, which are getting like 2K or 4K restorations and look absolutely bloody fantastic. And that's really kind of especially as my interest in modern cinema continues to crawl into a hole and die, it's really, really kind of rejuvenated my interest in like 80s movies and even 70s movies. And even, you know, some of the old Hammer movies, of course, which I've talked about on here, which I've got into. I mean, when you look at the difference between the absolutely appalling copies that you could find of something like the Satanic Rites of Dracula, which even on DVD were basically, they seemed to be VHS rips and they were full screen and of, 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 it's just shoddy as hell quality. Whereas now you can get them on Blu-ray and they look absolutely bloody fantastic. You know, it, it's, it certainly rejuvenated my movie fandom, albeit, like I said, in terms of older movies rather than anything new. Now, in terms of TV, obviously Doctor Who has been on Blu-ray. Now, when they first started doing the, the classic sets, I wasn't really sure about it, to put it mildly. In fact, I initially thought, I'm not buying them again. You know, I bought them on VHS and I bought them on DVD. And, you know, with the general kind of fuck you attitude of the BBC to long-term fans, it's like, eh, do I really want to give these assholes my, my money again? <laughs> But I did get season 19, um, and I reluctantly had to admit, yeah, okay, they do look much better. Castro Valva certainly did. That's the only one I've, I've really watched on Blu-ray, but it's like, yeah, there is a significant picture quality improvement, and you know the, the new effects as well also smooth over some of the less good things about it. So I was like, yeah, okay. The only problem with it is season 12, I couldn't, I, I missed season 12. I had to get the American one. And I don't know what it is, but it looks terrible on my, I don't know. It's, it's like, it's like the, 
the movements seem kind of jerky and it's really really odd I, 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 it looks fine when the characters are standing still but when they're moving it, it looks really odd i don't know whether it's something to do with ntsc or ntsc processing processing videotape or something because i mean I've, obviously i've bought loads of american blu-rays before and i've never had any problem with them but for some reason season 12 does not look good uh, i don't really find that i know they're out again in standard editions but they're still like 80 dollars or something off ebay I don't really fancy paying that out again for season 12, especially if it's not a particular favourite of mine. But I have got all the others in the normal releases over here. Season 24 should be out next week, I believe, so I'll be getting that. Um, as for New Who, uh, I have Series 1 on Blu-ray, and I have the Matt Smith era on Blu-ray. I wasn't going to get Series 7 for a while. I the I thought, oh, you know what, I might as well get the rest of the year on Blu-ray. I have I have warmed to Series 7 a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. Stuff like Dinosaurs on a Spaceship and Nightmare in Silver is still some of the worst crap I've ever had the misfortune to sit through. But I have warmed to some of, I think, like, The Snowmen and Bells of St. John and that. Yeah, okay, it's still not a very good season, but I am fond enough of the era to kind of go yeah okay the only capaldi one i have on blu-ray is series 10 which i generally like for the most part now as for other things on blu-ray oh i have the i i have upgraded like 80s classics like the, Sh the jeremy brett sherlock holmes's and the joan hickson miss marples and robin of sherwood and i mean they the, the difference is just night and day you know you, you watch like the the dvd releases of the sherlock holmes's and the miss marples and to a degree it's kind of like watching them through mud in a way you watch the like the the remastered hd blu-rays of those shows and it, lo it looks like they were made yesterday i mean they couldn't have been because they were actually good but you know <laughs> but yeah they look absolutely fantastic so i have no regrets with buying them again other stuff i've got a couple of seasons of person of interest on blu-ray not much else because there's not much that's really been released on blu-ray especially like older stuff i mean i'd like to see them do a like a like a blu-ray release of press gang because i mean it was made on film i'm sure they could hd it and make it look really good but nobody seems particularly bothered which is a bit annoying I do have the you know the 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 Blu-ray releases of stuff like the complete like Friends and that seventies show, and I've got about five seasons of the X Files on Blu-ray. Where Blu-ray, has, well, I I love those things. You know, I'm I'm glad that Doctor Who's getting upgraded, and I love you know like the Miss Marples and that, and even you know that seventies show and that they look fantastic. You know, they look so much better than the DVDs. But it's it's really kind of my movie collection where Blu-rays have really scored, particularly with like older movies, like seventies movies and eighties movies in particular. It's made me kind of rediscover them, which in turn has kind of rediscovered my love for movies because you know it's, that's rather rather gone off the boil in the last ten years. I'm not saying there hasn't been any good movies in the last ten years, but even compared to the 90s when i was you know going to the cinema basically every week or sometimes even twice a week these days it's like maybe seven times a year if if i can be bothered <laughs> uh so rediscovering all these older movies and even finding lots and lots of new older movies that i've never seen before and looking fantastic it's really kind of helped my movie fandom in a sense now there is there, just before I finish, there is one thing I I forgot to mention on my on the DVD video, which is one of the biggest things I've bought, which was the bill. I uh, I actually I've actually got the first seventeen seasons of the bill. I, I actually got everything from season one in 
1984 through to the 2001 season. I mean, screw it. Anything that comes after that, it got turned to complete crap after that. But yeah, that 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 cost an absolute fortune. But I can't say I regret it because I've been through it once and I'm actually watching it again at the moment. I'm actually on the 1993 season at the moment. I watch it uh, twice a week at tea times. <laughs> and I thoroughly enjoy watching the old bills. Anyway, I think that's about it. Between these three videos, you've got a good idea of my physical media collection, where it started and where it is now. I just hope we get lots more of the Doctor Who's on DVD and hopefully I can f scope out more kind of classic old movies on Blu-ray as well. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.